Right guys, welcome back to another episode. If you watched the last one, you'll see that we revealed our two track cars that we've bought for a thousand pound. Um, I'm now in the passenger seat of the Megan with Usher that he paid exactly a thousand pound for somehow. Uh, so what does a, basically what we're saying is what does a thousand pound cheapest in the country Megan F1 feel like? I'm really sorry to say, but I've been in this for five minutes. It actually feels all right. <laughs> it is It is quite quick, isn't it? In a straight line, it is. it's got lots of power, but whether that'll factor or not at T-side, I don't know whether I'll get a chance to show that or not. Every single part of me wants to dislike this car, but I'm actually struggling. I really am struggling. It's it's nice. it, is, it, is a, it is a good car. I mean, initially when you see it, someone says, you have bought the cheapest car in the country, you'd initially think, obviously, if you're into cars, you'd think it was a pile of shite, but to be fair, it's, a, it's actually a very good car. It feels it feels really well put together. Shall we be honest and mention the one yeah, of the reasons it's cheap? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It has been in a minor bump. Minor, that's all right. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah, minor. Yeah, minor. it was it was category C. Yep. Um, 2016 from the previous owner, and basically what happened? Someone had hit the driver's side wing. They put a mark on the wheel, cracked the plastic wing, and smashed the headlight. Um, but the previous owner found one breaking in the right colour and just fitted a genuine wing, uh, matching headlight and, and basically matching wheels. So although Cat C, to a lot of people, sounds like really heavy damage, with the age of the car, it was actually actually very light, but the insurance didn't feel the need to repair because it, it's, an, it's an old car now, the insurance wouldn't bother with it. Just on that, that's exactly it. You, you, I don't think you could go to Renault now and buy them new parts anyway, could that's you? That's the thing of the insurance repair now with new parts if you can't get them. They just, they just write them off, it's easier yeah. that way, so yes, it is a Category C write-off, but I've had a proper look around the car and I've tried ridiculing it, obviously. It's clean, isn't it? It's, it's a clean it's, car, lad. It's worryingly clean. <laughs> Alarmingly clean. It's not mint, like, it's got the typical, typical McGann, if you're a McGann owner, you know the typical shit. Like, that window, you have to press the open switch 50 times before the window comes all the way down, like, it comes down in steps of the out of the mine. I'll do it. That's, yep. how, that's how the window opens but well, we've also got what's these we've got some warning lights anthony yes that 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 there mate is um if you've got a woman in the car with big boobs mate that <laughs> light comes on <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah so we've, we've got an airbag light on and um, with these recaros the, the previous owner basically was going to run bucket seats took the seats out decided not to run bucket seats put them back in now we've now we've got an airbag light i have tried to clear it and it won't clear, so we've got a permanent fault, maybe the wiring or a sensor, I don't know, but something's not right with that. Um, and that's it, I think that's, I think that's the only, only mechanical thing that I can think of. The clutch, that's one thing I will say, it definitely isn't a new clutch, it doesn't slip, it gets its power down, but you can feel it under your foot, it's not It's not a new clutch, so that would be another area of concern for me, it would be something I would maybe look to change in the future. If you, the video will be released before the track day, we, we're guessing this one with the Megane, so I'm going down the track here, bring a head and book because literally like the, the gangs, so to speak, that we're going with, there's 10 of us there, and the only boot, like I think it's 30 odd cars on at one time. So if you go on, boot the slot, otherwise you probably are going to miss out to be fair. We've had loads of people saying they're coming down to watch this as well. The yeah. pressure's right on. It is, isn't it? If one of us loses miserably, it's going to be humiliating. It is, isn't it? I don't think we will. I think one yeah. of us is gonna lose, but I'm I think I think it's going to be close, but like I said, unless it's absolutely pissing down and soaking wet, which then will then render this car pretty pretty useless, mate. To be fair, I'll be popping about trying to drive it off boost to get it to to get it to go around corners. But what's the weather like? Uh, I actually don't know. To be fair, guys, so far at the minute, T side is forecast for Monday, the 16th of December, to be six degrees and raining. <laughs> I'm not. Show me that. Monday, rain. Fuck's sake, man. <laughs> There'll be another downpour, mate. If it's raining, I'm telling you, I'll cry my fucking eyes out. I will. I'll be sick as a chip. I might even just say it. What? Cat. Cancel this fucking trap there, please. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's bad enough losing, but the, L, the RS4 video is 54,000 people. If I have to lose in front of 54,000 people, that's the way the video goes, I'll just probably move away or something. Yeah, you've never lost on uh, YouTube before, have you? Ah, uh, once. Oh, once. So, oh, sorry, oh, for once. God, Anthony, once. I forgot. Once. Uh, I, 
need to, yeah, I need to even be, uh, before as well. Obviously, me and Dan have got a history, hugely uh, competitive. Yeah, we're both very competitive. Nobody likes to lose. Obviously, end of the day, at the end, if one of us does lose, or oh, there's always a handshake involved. We, we're very sportsmanlike, but um, there's a lot of piss taken as well. There's a lot of piss taken as well. But at the minute, it's it's basically two one. Before we started YouTube, um, as far as history goes, Dan had a. Uh, um, an EP3 running K100 and a few bits of mods. I had the standard FN2 running handling mods and breathing mods. Um, his EP3 was faster, but again, on the day it was faster. I couldn't catch it, it was away. Uh, so that was his his victory, the first one. Second one, he had a 330 CI club sport. Beautiful car it was as well, very nice. I'm sure Dan will put a photo in it, was, it was a really car. nice thing. Um, and I took an EP3, so on the way down, we were having a bit of a, which again is the David and Goliath thing, we were having a bit of a race on the way down. Um, Dan's 330 was quicker at top end than what the was. 3 was, but on track with Dan's car having no diffing, his he was just lit up everywhere. And obviously, I got traction in the little Honda, and the Honda was gone. So that was that was one one. And then obviously, as you can see from recent events, the M3 and the FD2 were the M the M3 triumphs basically, and I come second. So I also on that 330 day, I yeah. got black flagged three times. And Aye, for I sliding. was my final one. Yeah. Tell you what, though, it looked good. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> so we just pulled into, if you're from the northeast, this is a very famous place where I had a lot of misspent youth, shall we say. I used to drive into this car park flat out with a handbrake lit up, just with the wheels. You bumper. might remember me because I didn't know you at this age, right? right? This is when I was 17. I had a black E3325 and I used to shred a set of tyres in this car park every Saturday. This car park is renowned, mate. I tell you, fair, I can't remember, but I, I literally I spent a lot lot of time down here. We I used literally to, just pull it in and go absolutely ape shit. We used to park. I'm going to show this. Right. This was the car park. And all as far as the eye can see was just they used to keep like a big clear circular section didn't it ah that's right aye. and then if you were brave enough and i had a 325 e30 bm at the time 17 year old i was a maniac and we used to pull in fly in and you'd just be donutting the life out yeah. of it every single saturday night we did you used, used, used to roll in down, down here before the speed rooms are here and you'd be, uh, literally be in second gear just rolling and you'd clutch kick it and basically just light the car up through the full car park and obviously at the back everyone would be parked up across the back flashing the lights cheering and that's this is where we used to come right guys so the question is what does a thousand pound get you when you're on the market for a Megan F1 we mentioned the car being a bit of a bump it pains us to say it but it is a really really pretty car really nice but let's get a bit closer come in I do believe it had a little bit of an incident at the it, front. You're an asshole, just watch. I can fix this. See? Look at that. <laughs> Stop pulling it out. Yeah. So, the Megans, they are very, very common. The bumper clips are absolutely shit. So, that's one thing. So, anyway, we did get a win, which is actually been, that's been put, put on all right. The, the, it's not bad at all. They all stick out a tiny bit. Some questionable paintwork down the, uh, the passenger side. Again. Not too bad. I'll not feel as bad when I give you a friendly nudge. <laughs> the two side. Down the back, what we've got? Exhaust system. Is that standard? Looks the stock, totally stock system. I'm sure on my McGann, I just got a back box delete, you know. Did you? And it sounded fantastic. Did it? Aye. I'd maybe look into that. I'm just keeping them little pipes. They don't look too bad. Nah, they don't. He's fair. Again, look not right. a bad looking thing. I'm going to ignore the tyres because you've already ran them through them. What's, what's that? A, t a TL1000? Yep, special racing tyre that. Yep, nice. TL1000. Down the side. Oh, oh, he's missed something. What have you missed? I can see some vickles down the floor. No. no. What about the air? Uh, what about <laughs> oh, the, look at the, that. the questionable oh. petrol cap? Again, though, to be honest, this is all common McGann stuff. The fitment of the petrol caps is always horrible. I know what else I've missed as well, which I'm going to show on the other side. In all fairness, other than a couple of daft little dings and ripples, it isn't that bad, is it? Mate, let's be honest, it, it, it is quite a clean car. It's still in nice shape, to be fair. It is, it's a pretty thing. What we've got there, discs. Discs are looking a bit worse for wear as well. The, di the discs definitely aren't new. <laughs> One thing I will say is that the discs do still perform really, really well. Um, I've got no brake judge, obviously we're going to get some PBS pads in there, so... Anthony, what are these? What? 
What's that like? I need cable ties. Right. If you're a racing car driver, mate, you have to have cable ties. That's just a spare one I put on there so I don't lose it. I like it. Yep. I like it a lot. We've got more. We've got a bit of damage on the front. Ah, it's not too bad. It's not bad at all, to be fair to the car. That's just his wings, mate. That's just his wings. The whole thing's loose, on <laughs> <laughs> Don't pull it off. <laughs> um, aye. To be fair, it's not bad for a thousand pounds. You've done well. It is yeah. A I mean, obviously, at the end of the day, Dan's been absolutely brutal because obviously the way I was with his RS4, which it wasn't very nice. Out the end of <laughs> but like, I mean, if you were looking to buy a Megane, to be fair, if I was going to buy this Megane, even at like, even at like twenty five hundred quid, the little bits that have been picked out, I would kind of half expect that with the age of it. I would expect these little bits. Right, leave it alone. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is. It's not a bad thing. It's quite a level car. Right. I don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea. We've just come down a stretch of road. I mean, this Sale Sands is where I used to come all the time as a kid, but there's a stretch of road up here, me and Dan's been driving, and there's like a, a straight run of road and a bridge with a slight elevation. And I think, I think possibly we might be able to jump it or get a little bit of air maybe I, I don't know I said to Dan if it goes the wrong way the million views of me splattered on the side of the road and the McGann will probably just pay for the car so it's a it's a win-win I just forgot my crash helmet also anyone looking to do a Maglio conversion there might be an engine and box coming up very shortly <laughs> it's just up here I think you go over a couple of roundabouts do a little test run <laughs> just do a little test run here I won't hit it obviously flat out, but we'll just we'll wait for a gap in the traffic first. An ambulance please, yes. <laughs> yeah, and a recovery truck. Yeah, funeral director as well, thank you. I'll have all of the above. Ah, fuck it, what's the worst that can happen? Pepsi Max. Pepsi Max. Um, could I have it was two two of the snack wraps, the spicy ones. The flavour. Like uh, four of them in total. Four of those. Four of them in like total. Uh, yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. I'm amazed. I'm blown away. Flavour wraps. Yeah. Anything else? Um, could I have two of the salted caramel crushums. I bet he bids. I don't. Sweet. All right. Thanks. Anything else? And that's it, thanks. Any hot wings or anything today? Uh, no. It's 1930, not together, please. Neither one of these got money, he never spends Stop it. Stop videoing that. <laughs> Who's it's even like, called? We've got a YouTube channel, that's why we're just doing a video today, so. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Have a good subscribe as well, just so I can laugh at myself. <laughs> <laughs> Name's on the back window. <laughs> <laughs> don't think I'm hungry anymore mate. Mm -hmm. 19 quid for that lot of shite. It's made my day that. I know. And the woman behind the desk probably went now oh, the cheeky bastards have been videoing us, they'll be like, Chuck now snap wraps on the fucking floor area. Yeah? Probably white one, cleaning yeah. his pants with them or something. 100%. Put aye. them in your pockets there. They'll be rimming the ice cream <laughs> before they come out. <laughs> <laughs> KFC hot wraps, outstanding. Also gone in about 10 seconds. Oh, they're not the biggest of things, like. Eh? Fucking hell, mate. Oh, wow. How are you? Oh, fucking hell. Bit warm for me, then, mate. You reckon? Oh. You need good with spicy stuff? Nah. <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh. That was in the name, you know. <laughs> hot wrap. 
Well guys, that's the review on the thousand pound McGann. Um, Ush is back in the car now, he's gone. Just thought I'd have me a little bit to say afterwards. It is a really good little car, that. Really good car. I'm still pretty confident that that car isn't going to match me Fiesta when we go to, tra go to the track day. But uh, it just, it's like what I just said, a lot of it's going to be dependent on the weather. So, fingers crossed we'll get a, a bit of dampness. And I think the Fiesta should be enough to deal with it. But, and again, guys, thanks very much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, if you want to see more, please like and hit the subscribe button. And now, uh, until next time, we'll see you then.